Hello and welcome to Stay Fit with Joy. Once again, I'm in the kitchen and I'm walking you guys in. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the baked chicken cutlets that I make. Um, I shared this with uh, some of my friends in my office and they are totally obsessed with them. Dawn, Barry, both of you, obsessed with my chicken cutlets. We talk about them all the time in the office. And um, before I proceed, I do have to let you know that this is not uh, my idea. I'm sure other people have had this idea before, but it's actually my mother-in-law who started making the chicken cutlets like this. And um, she came to me and asked me if I thought that it was healthier. And I thought about it and I said, um, well, yeah, actually it is because it's not deep fried. It's not submerged in a whole bunch of really, really hot oil but yet you're getting some of that oil. And I'm not afraid of oil, I'm not afraid of fat. So I do use it in my cooking, I just try to limit it and I don't like to submerge anything in a hot pool of fat. So that I try not to do, but I will use it as cooking and dressing with. So what we're gonna do for these chicken cutlets is um, I use canola oil. I use canola oil when I cook most of the time when it is involved with um, higher heats like in the oven or sauteing in a pan. And I use olive oil when I'm dressing things, when it's gonna be cold or it's a salad, something like that. So the first thing I do, and I have these uh, trays from Pampered Chef, I'm like totally obsessed with Pampered Chef. I have a million different things from Pampered Chef, so I use those things all the time. But this is what I'm gonna do my chicken cutlets. I'm gonna put oil in one, and I'm gonna put my breadcrumbs into another pan. So the oil I'm just gonna pour into my first tray. And now there's different levels on how healthy you wanna make these chicken cutlets. Um, I'm gonna kinda of go half healthy today. So I'm gonna use whole wheat panko crumbs, and in this, if you can see the ingredients, there's only a few items in that. So this is pretty healthy. Sometimes I'll even make my own whole wheat bread crumbs from bread that I toast, and then I can really kinda of go healthy because I pick what bread actually goes into the bread crumbs. Um, this, not so healthy, seasoned 4C bread crumbs. I mean, look at that ingredient list. Okay, so not probably not so great. But what I'm gonna do is, uh, you know, the seasoned bread crumbs, of course, super yummy. These, not so much. You would definitely have to add some flavor and seasoning to it. But what I wind up doing is I'll do half of the whole wheat and I'll do half of the seasoned. And then I kind of am compromising a little bit and that kind of works for me, works for my family. So that's what I'm gonna do. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the panko crumbs and I'm gonna pour that in. Then I'm gonna take the seasoned bread crumbs and I'll put that in the tray as well. So kind of like a half and half. And then I'm gonna mix that up with a spoon. The good thing about um, doing half of the whole wheat bread crumbs with the 4C is, um, you know, there's a lot of sodium as well in the seasoned bread crumbs. So by putting in the ones that are plain without all the seasoning, you kind of um, take away some of that sodium content that's gonna be in each chicken cutlet as well. So, you know, it just kind of helps out in not having as much of the sodium levels and all that bad stuff. So sometimes it's a compromise, you know, you don't have to go super healthy, but maybe you just substitute half of it for something that's better. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Okay. All right, so after I have that all settled, I'm gonna take my tray, I take the tray, and I line it with some non-stick tin foil. And I have my chicken cutlets in the sink, and I'm gonna rinse each one. And then, so instead of dipping into an egg mixture, what I do is take the chicken cutlet and dip it right into the oil first. So that just kind of coats it. Just adjust this so you guys can see me a little bit. So that coats it with oil and you can even press it down, get some of the extra oil off or you can leave it. It depends on how you're trying to watch your diet and how much fat you're able to come in. Once again, I said, I, I'm not afraid of oil. I'm not afraid of fat. I just want to make sure that it's, first of all, a good fat, which canola oil is one of the better oils that you can use. It's a little bit healthier. But then also the amount. So by putting it on each chicken cutlet, I kind of know about how much I'm going to have. I would say maybe a half a tablespoon or less in each chicken cutlet winds up actually being on each chicken rather than saturating in the oil when you're cooking it and all that high and heavy heat. So I'm going to do this for each chicken cutlet. And what happens is now that it has a little bit of fat to it and it's got some oil to cook in, 
it's not going to be as dry. Like when I've made the chicken cutlets where I put, um, dip it in the egg and then I put it into the pan, it just comes out so dry. Where this doesn't so much. And one other thing sometimes I will do is even add a little oil to the bottom of the pan and coat the pan with a little bit of oil as well, even with, with this, just to make sure that it's got a little oil that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and has a good surface to, to cook on. Today I'm just gonna boil them, bread them, and put them into the pan. So you'll just continue to do that. And these, um, my whole family actually eats, so this is, this is a good thing to make for dinner because everybody will eat it and I don't have to fight with anybody to eat it. So I love things that everybody eats, even my husband, and he's, he's the picky one around here. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish up. And I'll make a lot of these because the other good thing about this is um, most of us like to eat, my kids, me, even my husband, we all like to eat these chicken cutlets cold. They're really good to just throw in the kids' lunches. They'll eat them cold, throw it in their lunch. I'll eat it cold, I take it to work, um, and it's really easy. So when I make them, I make at least two big packages, a couple of trays of these chicken cutlets. So you're gonna dip it in the oil, dip it in the bread, and you're gonna um, put it into the oven. I like to put it um, not all the way down to the bottom of the oven, but I like to get it closer to the bottom, not just smack in the middle and not closer to the top, because I want it to cook, the heat to radiate and cook from the bottom. They get a little bit crispier that way, so what I'll do is I'll put it in the oven, I'll let the bottom, I don't even flip them until the bottom is super um, browned, and crisp, then I flip them over. So you gotta really kind of be patient and wait to find that crisp on the bottom before you turn it. You wanna have a nice golden brown color and a nice crispy bottom before you flip them. Then you flip them and you just get that nice little crisp on the other side and uh, take them out of the oven. So what I'll do is once I am done cooking these in the comment section, I will post a picture of what it looks like when it's done because it will take a little bit of time. Um, you know, chicken cutlets, I can't really give you a range on how long you're gonna cook them for because depending on the thickness of the chicken, it's really gonna depend on how long. So you just really have to watch them. I don't really even know when I cook them how long it's gonna be. I put it on 350, the oven, and again, I put it a little bit closer to the bottom, not all the way, but not in the center, and not at the top, and then I just kind of watch for when I need to flip it. Uh, so that is how we make our chicken cutlets. Uh, they're healthier because they're not being cooked in that oil, in that hot heat, or with the pan filled with oil so that everything can absorb it, um, but yet it's not super dry because you're still putting a little bit of fat into it and you're allowing it to cook. Um, so again, sometimes even with dipping it in, I might do this to the pan at the bottom and then at the top as well, just to make sure that it has a little fat to cook on if none of it winds up draining out of the chicken cutlets. And it's not super saturated with that oil, but still not super dry either. Um, so thank you for joining me. Once again, you can um, comment. Uh, you can check me out at stayfitwithjoy.com. Keep going back to Facebook and see what else I'm putting out there, what else I'm cooking or other workouts uh, that I'm doing. And thanks once again for joining me. Um, if you do happen to make the chicken cutlets, post, let me know how, uh, how they were. Message me, let me know what you thought. Hopefully your family will enjoy them as much as mine do.